And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Renekton Sejuani. I'm still getting used to pronouncing that champion correctly, Renekton. It just reads like it should be Renekton to me, but it's Renekton. So um, bear with me. I'm going to keep trying to pronounce it correctly. Anywho, we have a pretty aggressive deck here with those two at the top end. Now, this specific version that was built by Cordec, a viewer here on stream, was really built to face aggro. This was built um, at the end of last week when there was aggro everywhere. We're kind of getting to the point of the metagame where there is a lot more anti-aggro decks and a lot more like Targon, Demacia decks, uh, more so than aggro. So we'll kind of see um, how it goes. But I guess like, you know, having cards like Ruinous Path helped out against aggro, you know, Ruinous Path, Kindly Tavern Keeper, getting that extra uh, Nexus healing in. But we're going to be a curve out deck that has some powerful finishers. Triple Battle Fury, that's going to be pretty sweet on our Overwhelm units. Renekton, Ruin Runner, Sejuani, all having that Overwhelm. Of course, we got Ruthless Raider in here with that Overwhelm as well. As far as like giving... You know, like Renekton wants to challenge enemies, so as far as like being able to challenge stuff, giving things vulnerable, we have uh, triple rock hopper and two exhaust. So not like a ton of ways, but that's what we got for Renekton. Um, got some good card draw in here with Preservarium Ruinous Path, help us play a little bit of a longer game and get to the point where we can have uh, big overwhelm plus battle fury, and that's how we're going to be finishing out games. All right, so let's go play our five games in ranked over in Mesta's rank. Thresh Nessus. All right, so they're going to be flooding the board early. Let's mulligan Preservarium. I, I want to keep Sejuani, but maybe we're supposed to just mulligan Sejuani because like, we likely find another. I don't know. We Yeah, let's mulligan it. We have the attack token turn, the odd turns. So it'd be turn seven whenever we attack with Sejuani. So yeah, let's just mulligan it. We'll keep uh, Raider Enchant. We find another one anyway. I think we'll start with Rock Hopper on two. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the Raider, okay. Would you look at this place? All right, attack. No, nope, no attack. Pass. Oh, okay. They they passed back. They didn't play into my trap of having them play something into this, and then I play Ruthless Raider. The soul wears away like rains of sun. You got caught. This land is ours. Yeah, play into the trap. No, 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 no. to pieces. Hmm. Probs are worth it. Probs. <laughs> that would have been great to have this Preservarium on one of those other turns when we wasted a bunch of mana. But our opponent's also been wasting that mana as well. Let's go with this. Uh, why am I not attacking with this 3-1? I don't know. Why am I not attacking here? Can I attack? But I want to. Alright, that's my B. More Thresh. I'm thinking I'm probably going to just Troll Chant. Save Sejuani for next turn. Wrong one mana spell. This should have been the plus three, plus two. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. Last to not remain buys me a new sale. 
Born for conquest. Out of my way. Please, I have connections. All right, so twenty down. I guess I could have gave the plus two to the Ruin Runner, had that thing be four health again. So they've had a slow hand, so we can kind of assume that they have some Nasus's in hand, or whatever the plural for that is. The desert by my side. See what we see. Vulnerable one one. Ephemeral. No. They get a slay. We get a slay. Let's go sledding. We all get some slays. That's not, that doesn't work. Betrayal bears, Shreema. Hope revived it. All right, time to kill them with Battle Fury. They don't have, you know, ping plus vengeance. That'll do. Okay. Battle Fury Ruin Runner. Good old Spell Shield Battle Fury. Wanna know? Sandra Trundle. Good thing we got our anti aggro deck. So I guess we mulligan exhaust, even though exhaust pairs with Renekton. But I think we're supposed to mulligan it. Because we're playing against Lissandra Trundle. It's like if they play Lissandra on turn three, that'd be great to challenge. But if they don't play Lissandra. Get him, Bailey. See what we see. Sand and blood. Ruthless. Secrets hidden by frost. Ruthless, I tell you. This would help me draw into another exhaust for Renek Renekton, but I guess we do have Renekton's champion spell. I don't know if I want to use it. Because they go vengeance. So Troll Chant, Ruthless Predator. them down to 10. Troll Chant was definitely the safer play. King of Trolls coming through. I 
But now if they want to find a Watcher, they gotta find another Lissandra. And that is not guaranteed. Leave your tracks at the door. Pain is nothing. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Okay. Born for conquest. So got out fading memories that would normally copy the ice pillar. So we're making them use some very valuable resources. But of course they're happy to be alive, they're not dead. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. I should probably play Tavern Keeper. Oh dear. Come on in. They play Ice Pillar. Let's take this outside. Oh, how about that? Rolling Sands doesn't break for something that's already vulnerable. I didn't know that. I did not know that. In your boots. You're in my kingdom now. Come on in. Ugh. Well, if I knew they were just going to have a bunch of units in hand, like Trundle, Tavern Keeper, Tavern Keeper, I wish I would have gone for the Battle Fury. The Emperor commands the land obey. This one's on the house. We're at three. Yeah, like their their deck usually plays a good amount of frostbite and vengeance. This would be them going down to nine. Wow. That's lethal. Okay, so they didn't have the Vengeance. I could have gone for the Battle Fury the previous turn. Wow. Battle Fury. Right. Sometimes you just gotta ask the questions. Do you have Vengeance? Do you have Frostbite? The answer, no, you lose. You know, make them have the answers. Just ask the questions. Okay. Yeah, there there has been a lot of Demacia Targon recently, whether it's, you know, Zoe Aurelian Soul or Garen or Shivana, you know, like all these different champions, but Demacia Targon is um, has really turned up in popularity. I don't really see anything to mulligan, except for maybe Sejuani again, because it's a 6-drop, but Sejuani is a really good 6-drop. Look at that. Just having the perfects. Yeah, Demacia is so strong because of the two mana spells, I think. Like, Sharp Sight, Single Combat. Really makes Demacia quite strong. This land is ours. Dragon blood, Demacia heart. 
Let the blood boil, half dragon. So if I go shape stone, do I want to use my two one on this? If I use this thing, this would be six power, so it'd overwhelm two. This would be two, four, seven. I guess I use the two one. Ashes and stardust. Oh dear. Yuck. Well, that must be nice. Having Would double Shivana. The Emperor commands the land obey. They're playing nothing. So I attack, they block Ruthless Raider. Take 11. I don't think it's end round. I think I'm, I'm considering playing my 3-1 over... Like, over this ro Roiling Sands. Play the 3-1 over that. No, it, it's about getting all this damage in. I could just move it over the Preservarium and not draw a card. So then, then they play a blocker. Then I get to challenge the blocker still. Like, should I keep the Roiling Sands? I'm definitely not passing round. Because... That's that's exactly what they want. The longer game helps them out. I'm not passing around. It's I'm playing this thing. Fight or die. I'm playing it over the Preservarium. Leave nothing standing. Close. You, 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 you. There we go. Figure it out. Come face me. Fight spells over there with that Shivana. You own what you take. Because of fight spell, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, it's just all fight spells. I couldn't I couldn't play the Battle Fury. So my So I wish I would have, you know, replaced the Roiling Sands right about now. Really? Right in negation? Now you show up? <laughs> Could have stopped these fight spells a long time ago. That would have been nice. Renekton, let's go. 
They still have more fight spells left? Ugh. All right. They got me. Double, double Sejuani and all fight spells. That's that's what you, you know, that's really what you want. I said double Sejuani, sorry, double Shivana. Double Shivana and all fight spells. All right, playing against some aggro. Right in negation, gone. All the rest in here. Love it. Love the Renekton. Because we attack turn four. That's going to work out well. I'm holding on to the exhaust because the champions want to be able to challenge a champion. Okay, good. Not that. Not uh, vision. Time for the money makers. Man, they they flex on flexing on me with that spinning axe. <laughs> well, they discard. Draven's biggest fan. All right. Like, I, I could challenge the 1-1 one, one also, but of course they have, like, the Spinning Axe they can use and discard a card. But with me holding these Troll Chants, I don't think that that's probably worth it. It's a lot of Spinning Axe. Okay, so we take four down to ten. Alright, so obviously our, our Renekton challenge the 1-1. One, one. I want to use Sejuani on a champion, but they don't really have a champion here that they're playing. I guess I'll just play this Rune Runner. I, best case scenario would be I would pass, they would play like a Jinx, and then I would do the Sejuani. But if I pass, the more likely thing that would happen would be they would just also pass and keep me from attacking and leveling up Renekton. Renekton level up. Doesn't mean I don't get to ruin his path, but... That's alright, getting rid of a 5-4 Overwhelm. Pretty important. Sup, Battle Fury. You look like you're going to end the game on Ruin Runner next turn. That's cool. From the savage cold. Ride onward. There we go. Big overwhelm. Getting the win. Three and one. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. A fight spell away from a 4-0. 
Maokai Nautilus. We go in deep. This is probably going to be a good Battle Fury matchup. Just keep double Ruthless Raider. The Hoppa could be good against Maokai. This is a really weird hand. It's like, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to keep the hand. I didn't know really what to do with that hand. So I just, yeah, I don't know. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> the winter's claw strikes. Success gets you noticed around here. These deep opponents are like playing some random cards that are wrecking me pretty bad. Whether it's Warden's Prey. I go, I go. Or uh, now Hired Gun. There's two different two drops that toss like a higher gun in the deck. It was a little random. Alright, so if I play if I play Ruthless Raider, then I don't get to have Troll Chant. Obviously I'm gonna play Renekton next turn and have Renekton challenge the Abyssal Eye. Do I need Troll Chant available as well? I think we gotta play this to attack. And really hope that we don't need Troll Chant this turn. Get that wander out of here. These deep players play random cards, that's for sure. Alright, nine away from deep. I run a bloody path through Shurima. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Set the hooks. Let's get double toss. Get some one mana sea monsters with lure the depths. away from deep. No mercy. Face your end. Azir's command. I'm thinking about having like the one one ephemeral challenge the two three. Violent when I'm bored. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I was considering. Because it's nice to have to keep this thing vulnerable anyway for Renekton for a future turn. There's still one away. 
Oh, they drew into... Okay, Vile Feast. Alright, so the Renekton kills the Sea Scare, which allows them to toss, which then kills this Ruthless Raider. Oh, this thing's ephemeral. From Stalking Shadows. I guess I missed that. Yeah, they just have so such good targets for ride negation. I think we have to let it through. Don't love our Renekton being vulnerable. Oh, obviously we draw another ride negation now. The rot must be cut away. All right, Battle Fury, where you at? One mana 5 6 is pretty big. You can see why our deck's pretty anti aggro with these tavern keepers that don't really help. Yeah, this is a really nice card back. This Shurima one. I agree. Alright, so they're out of Sea Scarabs. And so life we know we can't draw a champion. So what's the best draw? Battle Fury, I guess? Doesn't tell you what you obliterated. What will you have? And so life springs anew. I guess Preservarium's our best draw, because then we redraw. How about another round? Be gone. Darn. Hoping they blocked the two ones, I get to Runa's path. So that last game just didn't have our top end, right? No Ruin Runner, no Sejuani, no Battle Fury. You know, none of these cards at our top end um, just made it a little bit too difficult to win against that deck that is very good against aggressive decks. Uh, we definitely needed our power. And so, like, that's that's really why we lost that game was none of those three cards, unfortunately. But, yeah, like, they had a, they had a good hand. They had some cards that uh, did really well against me. Some good... Um, uh, I don't know, two threes with Vulnerable, whatever that card was. Um, hired Gun. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that, that had some good Hired Guns and stuff like that. Deep decks can display like a bunch of random things. Like We've been playing against the Warden's Praise, but this one had the Hired Guns and the Black Spear. That's not a card you see in Deep very much, but that Black Spear was really nice, killing my Renekton. Um, yeah, so Hired Gun, Black Spear. I guess really even more so Black Spear. That was the card that uh, got me pretty good there. Um, so yeah, good good hand. Um, they had you know multiple of the of that really cheap card that, that tossed a bunch. You know like the, the one mana after lure of the depths, the one mana card like that's the Jaw Hunters made another one of those one mana sea monsters for blockers. So good hand for them and no power for me. No runner, no Sejuani, no Battle Fury, and that will that will do it. 
uh, yeah, our deck was our deck was good. You know, this is like like we said before at the beginning, this is built to be better against aggro with having um, all these things that can either heal the heal your nexus and stuff like that. Um, if you want to be better against like your Shadow Isles decks and your Targon decks, your Demacia decks, like that kind of stuff, you'd want like some beefier units. Um, but uh, I think I think this worked out pretty well. You know, still going three and two. Nothing wrong with that. We were one fight spell away from a 4-1, and then maybe, you know, like, maybe draw one of our top-end cards. Maybe we're able to finish out that deep matchup also. Um, both of those, you know, we were in both of those games that we lost, but we just didn't didn't quite uh, finish it out. All right, so there we go. So there's Anti-Aggro, Renekton, Sejuani. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those comments. Let me know what you think of this version of the deck if you're somebody that's been playing against a lot more you know lucian azir and and draven burn and all that kind of stuff you know made this version can go a little bit bigger than those decks and finish out the game um and uh, have a good matchup against those all right but that's it here for renekton sejuani so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video